What's up everybody, this is ODC, that's me, and I'm back with another action figure review. This is my review of the DC Universe Classics 2-pack Green Lantern figure pack, um, including Abin Sir and Hal Jordan Green Lantern. <clears throat> uh, these are two figures that are on my list, um, him being the variant. I believe I have every, every costume of the Green Lantern now, I believe so, of Hal Jordan at least. Um, and this will be my first Evan Sir. I still have to get the Black Lantern Evan Sir. But uh, both these figures are on my list, so I will be taking them off. And uh, yeah, glad to have this two pack. I got this two pack for um, eight, uh, $18. So free shipping. So pretty good deal on a nice two pack. This has their classic look, but I'll get to that in a minute. Uh, nice window display we have here. And uh, it gives a nice depiction of Green Lantern uh, Abin Sir and Green Lantern Hal Jordan kind of doing the pounding it out, <laughs> doing a little fist pump to the uh, to recharge their rings, I guess. Uh, there's also a similar two pack with uh, Hal Jordan and Sinestro, and they're kind of doing the same thing, but they have a split colored uh, lantern. One half is yellow, one half is green. That's a pretty nice two pack, also. But nice window display here. Uh, on the side, I just got some pictures of, you know, uh, I just got a picture of Hal right there. Uh, I believe there's more pictures. Just comic pictures, I guess. You could say there's Sinestro right there. Looks like Nightwing right there. So, yeah. But on the back, I switched around to the back, sorry. I'm kind of, there we go. I'll just zoom in like this. Um, there you have, uh, that's what the figures look like right there. Sorry, I kind of <laughs> lost track of where I was going. Um, here is the little bio, focus, thank you. If you want to read that bio. That's for Avin Sir. His stats right there. And here's Hale's bio. And his stats. So no, let's not waste any more time. I mean it's pretty self-explanatory. Two figures in the in the pack. And uh, let's get them opened up, take a closer look at Avin Sir and Green Lantern Hale Jordan. Okay, and we're back with Hal Jordan Avin Sir out of package and uh, they really do look great um, this is uh, one of the the looks from when I was growing up I remember Hal Jordan having uh, reading some of the older comics from uh, the uh, Green Lantern as Hal Jordan um, this was his first look I believe and uh, obviously this was the more classic look for Hal and then he kind of transitioned into <clears throat> excuse me, uh, a little bit more uh, covering, which I'll get to in a minute, actually. Uh, I want to do some comparisons and stuff with the variants, so we'll get to that in a minute. But uh, so let me just get Hal out of the way, and we'll talk about Ab and Sir for a minute. Um, I did read the read-up on Ab and Sir. Now, I, I, I know, I know uh, a little bit about Ab, Ab and Sir, but uh, I wish, I think one of the gripes I have with the packaging is that... Um, Abin Sir is really known for just kind of dying. I wish they would have added a little bit more to his biography instead of just saying, you know, he was wounded badly and landed on Earth and his ring found Hell Jordan and Hell Jordan became... So it's like, I mean, if you want to include that with Hell Jordan's biography, you should, but a little bit more uh, a, bi a biography of actually him, of what he have accomplished before would probably make a little bit more sense to me. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But, um... Still, the figure is nice, very nice head sculpt here. Let me just get in there. Pretty nice. Looks good. Got like a vein going in this throughout his, his uh, near his temple there. A little bit of a, a default, or a defect, I should say, default in the head there. But overall, I think he looks pretty nice. Um, him and uh, he and Hale pretty much share the same body here, uh, same paint job as well. Um, I don't see any differences between the two except for the head sculpt. And uh, they do come with this nice lantern. 
And it is a lighter green, kind of almost a little bit closer to a lime green. Um, or maybe a little bit, nah, actually a little darker than lime green. Lime green's a little bit uh, lighter than this, but uh, it's coming off lighter in as I'm looking through the camera, but um, in hand, it's a little bit darker, I guess you could say that. So it does look good though, and they do both hold it in their gripping hand fine. If I can get it in there. Their hands are pretty stiff, so bear with me here. Hold on a second. There we go. So they do hold it nicely in their hand. If you want to have them hold the lantern, you can. Um, as far as articulation goes, um, they're both pretty much the same. So I'll just do articulation with Avin here. Uh, it's the pretty much basic DC UC articulation. His head does move side to side, can do a full 360. Um, it does look down a bit and it does look up. His arms go up about that far. Good range of motion. Can do a full 360. He's got a bicep swivel, single bend at the elbow, wrist rotation. He's got an ab crunch, which has a good range of motion. Waist swivel, T joint hips, which are a little stiff, so I'm gonna use, stiff in that side, so I'm gonna use the other side. I just don't like risking it. Um, also, a little note I just wanted to, because um, I haven't said it in a while. If you're new to DC Universe Classics, um, usually what you should do is when using their T-joint hips, I usually try to, I put my finger right here on their T-joints because over time, see how that T-joint flexes a little bit where the, uh, the joint meets the leg? Uh, this starts flexing right here, that piece. And over time that can eventually snap off because it's just plastic holding it in. So I usually keep my finger here to hold pressure in, and then I just pull the leg out like that. Uh, but his leg does go out like that, like so, and uh, does go forward and back nicely. He does have an upper thigh swivel, single bend at the knee, and an ankle hinge. Uh, another little defect I wanted to point out was, I've never seen this before, but he's got uh, a little bit of a raised groove in his boot. If you can see that, and it is on both sides, and uh, they do have two peg holes at the bottom of the feet. Um, it looks like some sort of mold uh, sculpting defect there. Like he's got kind of like a raised boot. It doesn't really affect how he stands at all, but I just wanted to point it out. Uh, Hal has it here, but he's only got it on one foot. It's just kind of weird. Just wanted to point that out. Sorry. Focus. It's probably just because they use the same body. Uh, but uh, he doesn't have it in that foot, only in this one. But it doesn't really affect how they stand, so it doesn't really matter that much. And you can't really see it anyway, so. But still, very nicely done, Abin Sir. I'm very happy to have him, and he's going to go on my green lantern display. As is Hal here, I'll bring him back in here. I'll set uh, Abin back there. Um, I mean, you pretty much know what you're getting into. It's the same thing as uh, Abin over there. Um, as far as, I'll just do his head articulation to show you his range of motion here. Uh, it does look down, uh, a little bit a little bit down farther than the eye level, I would say. Uh, it does look up pretty well, so you can get him into a decent flying pose and just kind of manipulate the ab crunch there to make him look a little bit better. Um, it does do a full 360. Um, it does have a little bit of that tilt effect, which is pretty nice. I always enjoy that in a, in a head articulation. Um, his hair is done pretty well. Nice black shading paint detail in there, giving it uh, a little bit more of a detailed look. So that's pretty cool. Now, as far as comparisons go, um, to show you the difference between their suits, um, because he does have three, or f actually four, I believe, Green Lantern suits. Uh, I believe they're the same. This guy is the one from the five pack. Uh, he just has the only difference is, is that he has gray hair. Now this is really the Green Lantern that I grew up with was when he had he was going he had the gray hair, um, and then I would say probably the second was his original classic look, which is this. So you can see the differences there in the suit. Obviously the shoulders are painted, and it's a little bit l uh, less paint over here and going into the uh, bicep and rib cage. Um, now this is where I have set up with my new 52 display is the shiny 
Uh, I believe this was the All-Star um, Green Lantern. He's kind of got a metallic, uh, not, eh, maybe not metallic, yeah, just a shinier uh, coat of paint throughout his whole body, including his mask. But as far as the head sculpt, they're all the same. Um, he just has painted gray hair on here. Uh, no difference in the head sculpt. The hair's a little bit darker on this Hal Jordan. As you can see here, I'll just uh, set these guys aside. His hair's a little bit darker uh, with this guy. Maybe it's not coming up that much, but you can see it in hand. So, so there you go. There's your comparisons. And as size-wise, um, they're pretty much the same. I think All-Star Hale is a little bit taller here, actually. Not sure why. His knees are bent a little bit, so. But, uh, yeah, he's a little bit shorter than the other two. Let me try to straighten his legs out here. Sorry for such a long review here. Yeah, now they're about the same height. Maybe he's got a little bit on him, but. As far as the two-pack goes, I think it's a really nice two-pack. Maybe a little bit of an underrated two-pack. So, I mean, if, if you really want the classic look, we, we got enough Hal Jordans where you can pretty much pick and choose which look you want to go for and pick your favorite Hal Jordan. But it's nice to have an Abin Sir in your collection as well. And I look forward to getting the Black Lantern Hal Jordan. Or Abin Sir, excuse me. So with that being said, I'm um, not going to really rate this two-pack. I'm just going to give it a thumbs up and suggest you get it. You can find it pretty cheap. I got this mine off eBay. Uh, like I said, for $18 free shipping. Um, I'm sure you can find it for around the same price, 20 bucks. You know, that's that's not bad either. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Thanks, sorry for such a long review. And I will see you guys on the flip side.